Sam Wilson wears the X07 Falcon suit and that allows him to fly in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But what happens if it's damaged by gunfire? Can the suit still fly? In this video, I'm going to take a look at the materials that can self-heal the suit when it's been damaged. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and on this channel you'll find videos on the science and engineering behind superheroes, Star Wars, and lots of other topics. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring the bell to get notifications on the latest videos. Right, let's get into the materials behind the X07 Falcon suit. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier are back in the Disney Plus series and in the opening scene of the very first episode, there is a spectacular flight scene involving the Falcon. In that opening scene, Sam Wilson is in hot pursuit of some terrorists who have kidnapped a soldier of interest. Now in that scene, the suit is damaged by some gunfire which isn't very good for the suit. But later on in the pursuit, Wilson tells one of his colleagues, Joaquin Torres, that the suit has fixed itself. So how could the suit fix itself and provide Wilson with that all important thrust to continue his flight? Before we get into the electronics and materials element, let's take a quick look at thrust and why it's so important to the Falcon. To explain the importance of thrust, Let's consider the example of an airplane. When an airplane is in flight, there are four main forces acting on it. Two of these forces will try and keep the plane in the air, while the other two want it to slow down or actually drop out of the sky. The drag force is the force that wants to slow the airplane down and acts in the direction opposite to the motion of the airplane, while the weight, well that comes from the mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, that's the force that wants to drag the plane back towards the ground. Now if the engines for some example switched off for some reason, then there will be no thrust. And as a result, well the weight would take over and eventually the plane would fall towards the ground. In reality though, there are two other forces that keep the plane in the air and those forces are the thrust and the lift. The thrust force comes from the engines and that pushes the plane forward, while the lift force, that comes from the motion of the air as the plane passes through the air over the wings of the aircraft. Now of course the lift force can't be generated without the thrust force and that's why thrust is so important for airplanes and the X07 Falcon suit. Now we know why thrust is so important. The X07 Falcon suit has a small thruster in the back that provides that necessary thrust to keep the Falcon suit in the air. While Wilson is trying to rescue the operative in the helicopter in the opening scene of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the backpack with the thruster is hit by a bullet and is damaged. But later in the scene, as I mentioned, Wilson tells Torres he's found a solution. So what was the solution? The electronic components in smartphones and TVs are typically made from metal oxides. These materials are brittle and rigid, which means that they can break or shatter quite easily. But for the X07 jetpack to self-heal or fix itself, it wouldn't use metal oxides. No, it would need self-healing soft materials. Soft here doesn't mean that it's wimpy. It just means that the material can be deformed or changed into other shapes more easily. And soft materials are durable and capable of carrying very large physical loads or weights. And lots of self-healing materials are based on polymers. In terms of a self-healing material made from polymers, it's also very important the material can heal or fix itself very, very quickly. And researchers at Carnegie Mellon University in the US, led by Carmel Maggi, have developed a self-healing material that might actually be used in the X07 Falcon suit. Their self-healing material is made up of liquid metal droplets intermixed with a polymer-based substance. These liquid metal droplets are made from 75% gallium and 25% indium. Those metal choices are quite good actually because those particular metals have very high electrical conductivity and they're also non-toxic. For these materials to be used as self-healing materials in something like the X07 Falcon suit, 
the original or starting electronic circuits would also have to be made from these type of materials. And that's quite easy to do when you're actually making it from the start. The soft material that was developed by the researchers at Carnegie Mellon University can be stretched and deformed a little bit, but eventually it can be broken by say something like the impact of a bullet. If the electrical circuit in this self-healing material was actually damaged by something like a bullet, the force exerted by the bullet could be sufficient to burst some of those liquid metal droplets. That means that the gallium indium metal in the droplets would spill out into the remaining part of the electrical circuit, would form a brand new electrical circuit, and suddenly your device would start working again. Yes, the goal of this material is to replace broken or missing electrical conductive paths. It's as if it can create electrical wires in an electrical device if they suddenly go missing or are damaged. To test the material, Maggi's team created some soft robots. And these soft robots had actuators that allowed them to walk or to move across a table. Then the team decided to attack the robots with a hole puncher. Yes, they actually took a hole puncher and took small chunks out of the robots. And what happened next was extraordinary because the material with the liquid metal droplets suddenly was able to create a brand new electrical circuit that could communicate the electrical signals from the actuators to the rest of the robot and suddenly the robot would start to move again. In other words, the material was able to self-heal the robots and self-heal their electrical circuits. So if Wilson's X07 Falcon suit contains these self-healing materials with those liquid metal droplets, if the electrical devices or electrical components of the suit are damaged, they could self-heal themselves. And that would explain how the suit was able to heal itself in that scene from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And of course, the good news is that if the suit can fix itself, and this is really good news for Falcon, it means that the suit can continue to provide thrust, and if there's thrust, then Falcon is not going to be dropping out of the sky anytime soon. Well, that's my idea about how it works, but please let me know what you think in the comments below for this video. Thanks for watching this video in relation to Falcon and the self-healing materials that could be inside in the X07 suit. Stay tuned for more videos in relation to superheroes, Star Wars, science and engineering, and lots more besides. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and until I see you next time, always think super.